Hello and welcome to All Saints Church. Next Monday, we're hoping that the government will announce the lifting of the current restrictions so that we can return to some sort of normality. There's some uncertainty about this because the new Delta variant is spreading in other parts of the country and we're not sure if this is going to mean further regional lockdowns or what's going to happen. We may find that we have to continue in the current arrangement for a little longer. But we've got used to living with uncertainty. We continue as best we can with the current situation. And at All Saints, we've been working on a programme of cleaning, repairs and maintenance jobs as we look forward to the day when we can open our doors and hopefully keep them open for visitors during the week. We were very pleased to receive a generous grant from the Cultural Recovery Fund to enable us to do much of this work. This has been made available to various heritage sites across the country as we start to come out of the lockdown and look forward to welcoming new visitors to our building. The other work which is part of this is the new visitor panels which a few of us have been working on. You may remember the boards we had in church situated in different parts of the building, explaining the significance of the font, for example, the altar, the prayer wall, different aspects of the church's history. Well, all those are being totally redone in a new format with new wording and attractive images taken from photos we produced. This is all being put together by a professional designer whose work looks very attractive. We're creating a pilgrimage route around the church, looking at and explaining the main features of the building and helping those who visit understand a little more about what we use the church for on Sundays as well as other occasions. We're including prayers and questions for our younger visitors. We hope that this will help put All Saints Church on the map for tourists and visitors to our town and help people appreciate something of the Christian story and the message which we so long for people to grasp. We have such a beautiful building steeped in history and prayer and which holds such a lot of the story of our town that we would like to convey something of this to our visitors. The hope is that our visitors would be struck by the beauty and the history of the building, that they may also come to appreciate something of the purpose of the building too, of our worship of God, of the story of his love for us, and how this has shaped many lives of people down the ages. And also our longing to share this with others, so that they too may join us on the pilgrimage through life. The other day, we came across the shell which we use in church for baptisms. We use this to pour water over the heads of those being baptised. A shell is a sign of pilgrimage. Pilgrims attach a shell to their bags to show that they're on a pilgrimage. We're all pilgrims on a journey through life and in our faith. There are many stopping places along the way but eventually we're destined to the same place. A pilgrimage is more than visiting places of historical or architectural interest. A pilgrimage is about seeking to encounter God somewhere along the way. People go on pilgrimages to all sorts of places, but I believe we can meet with God anywhere, but especially in places of worship like this places where people have worshipped and prayed, places of beauty, pilgrimage and tranquility. We pray for all those who will be visiting our building when we open more fully, and for all of us as we journey on in our faith. We pray that as people come and enjoy our beautiful building, as they meet with us, that they may feel the warmth of God's love and his welcome, whoever they are, and may find a home among us for a time. So let us pray. Loving God, 
We thank you for all those who have worshipped and prayed in this building over so many years. We thank you for all who meet with God in this place. And we pray for all those who will enter our building over the summer, for all those who are searching for you, all those who need to know your love and care, for those seeking meaning and purpose in their lives, that they will find what they are seeking and may come to know you for themselves. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.